again, because why not? Uh, this time, we're still doing some dehydrate or not dehydrated, freeze-dried things, but I got a snack crate. So let's open this up. Hi, Kicker. Ooh. So Snack Crate is a subscription box for candy for snacks from around the world. Looks like we've got Ukraine. So the other thing, sorry, I am a little scatterbrained today. Freeze dryer has just finished the load. I just took out the bananas. And we have yogurt. This is very nice and mm, crunchy. I like bananas and doing and doing the bananas whole like this. If a lot of people slice them up into little banana slices like banana chips. Um, however, these are so good that if I slice them up into banana chips, I could probably eat a whole tray's worth in a sitting. So this way I can just grab a banana and go. And then we've got some corn, freeze dried corn. Nice, light, and sweet. And the other tray is another tray of corn. Again, nice, light, sweet corn. Great for snacking on, but also great for cooking. And then uh, freeze-dried peppers. These were part of another load, but they weren't quite finished yet. Again, the nice, light, Yummy and sweet to snack on. Great for cooking as well. Mm. Itchy nose. So, back to the snack crate. Um, and the reason I'm not turning off my freeze dryer just yet, letting it defrost, because we're going to load up my snack crate, my freeze dryer trays with items from my new snack crate. Let's see what we got. So we have a recipe card or a card that says how or we have a card that explains the different snacks inside as well as it looks like, it has a recipe on how to make chicken Kiev. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So the first one here is potato boom in a ketchup flavor. They look like french fries. Hmm. Tastes very much like french fries too. Not much at all of a ketchup flavor to them. But let's put a couple here on the tray. I don't think they'll do anything for this in the freeze dryer. But uh, we can see. So what does it say about them? Potato boom. These crispy potato snacks are baked to perfection, coated with a generous amount of salt and vinegar, usually in this case ketchup, to make a tangy flavor and keep coming back to more. And then next we've got some corn snacks. Corn sticks, sour cream, and dill flavor. Ooh. What does it say here? These baked wheat 
rye croutons are kneaded according to a secret recipe and then combined with, well, this one on the card, it says crab, but we've got uh, sour cream and dill. Great on salads or to eat them as a snack. Can I have my cheesies? Those are nice, nice and light. Just like a normal cheesy. Anyway. Actually, I read the wrong one. All natural popcorn snack loaded with savory cream of dill flavoring. And the wheat snack is this one, flint. So again, this one said, on the card it said uh, crab, but we've got, looks like a cheese flavor. And scissors. Ooh. Yeah, and these kind of look like croutons. Ooh, mm. very cheesy. Very cheesy indeed like an old cheddar. Looks nice. Next is Big Bob. Let's see what Big Bob. <laughs> Bite into the perfect adventure snack and experience the sharp and explosive flavor of these crispy coated and wasabi flavored peanuts. Mm, I like wasabi. And yeah, that's what they look like. Wasabi peanuts. Mm. Not overpowering though, wasabi. Very nice and light. It's not like a take your breath away. It's very nice and light. Mm. I almost wish the wasabi was stronger. But still very good. Soko Lotus with essential vitamins and minerals. Get your day started right with this crispy cereal tube loaded with sweet milk. And they're black. Hmm. I've seen cereal straws before. But they're usually um, like strawberry, vanilla, or chocolate. Oh, so these ones, it looks like chocolate. Mm. Yep, that's chocolate. Mm. Very nice indeed. Nice, light, flaky cereal. A little bit of crunch, but not overly crunchy dry. And then it's almost like uh, the milky, the white chocolate milky part in Kinder Eggs on the inside. Uh, we've got Rosin Lazy Cow, a delightful, crispy vanilla wafer sandwich with sweetened condensed milk, cream, and coated in real chocolate milk. Well, chocolate does not freeze dry well. Take a bite. So most of these so far have had multiple of them, like, you know, more than one cheese pop or whatever. So this one, it's only one cookie. So I'm going to cut off a little piece to put on and we'll save the rest for when it comes out. Ooh. 
Here it says Artek waffles. Perfect with a cup of tea or coffee. These waffle style wafers are baked to perfection with layers of decadent chocolate cream. So it sounds very much like the other one, the Lazy Cow. We'll put one there, and this one has two cookies. It looks very much like a lot of the wafer cookies that you can get. Mm. Yep. Just what you'd expect from a wafer cookie. Nice, light, crispy wafer and um, some light, almost moussey chocolate cream inside. Something very simple, but joyful about those. Ginger's whining behind me. These, they look kind of like an Oreo. Super Contic cookies. Uh, reminiscence of the popular American treat, but with a unique citrus twist. These black sugar cookies are held together by a soft lemon filling. So the um, American treat that they're talking about obviously is Oreo. They look very similar to an Oreo cream inside. The, the cookie to cream ratio is definitely not much there. But I like this cookie better than Oreos. There's a little bit more flavor to the actual cookie part. Although I don't get much of the lemon coming through. No, actually the lemon is there a bit. Again. I don't think very much will happen with this through the freeze dryer. Ooh. This one looks yummy. Conti bonjour. That's what it says. This dome-shaped dessert consists of three delicious parts. Sugar biscuit, a layer of cappuccino jelly topped with whipped cream, all coated in a chocolate glaze. Oh, it's been crushed and kind of exploded a bit, it looks like. Just gonna put this chocolate one into a little cup. And I'm gonna cut some of this and we'll put it in a little cup as well. So you see you've got the cookie and there's caramel and cream chocolate. Give this a taste. Kind of disappointed that it's all smushed, but mm. that cookie 
cookie is nice and soft, it the whole thing just melts in your mouth. I'm sure at the end the cookie will be crunchy, but um, we'll see how it all does. Got it. Teeny. And that's it for the, that's actually on the little card. But we've got some more extras here. So we've got this teeny. Looks like another wafer cookie. I guess wafer cookies are kind of big in in Europe. So chocolate with a, I don't know, maybe banana? Mm-hmm. 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 Yep, that's banana. I like that. Bananas, yummy. And then it looks like we've got some fizzles. Oh, fizzbooms. And some sort of jelly. Jelly candy. And it looks like there's something inside of it too. Mm. Kind of like a gusher, but nicer. So put one on there. hard candy. They're kind of big. Oh. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. It's very fizzy, mm. but a lot of candy too. Mm. Yep. I can't remember what the the ones here are called, but it's a hard candy with with fizzy stuff in it. The flavor's nice. And the last thing in the box. is a uh, rosin dark chocolate bar. So, and it looks like it's got some caramel in it. Mm. Yep. Mm. Mm. Kind of a different type of caramel. Mm. Another little cup. Just to help put with the chocolate because the chocolate's just in a mess. But maybe that caramel filling will do something. Dark chocolate bar with filling. Mm. All right. So we've got our tray with stuff from the snack tray. And I'm gonna put this in the freeze dryer. And then for a candy run, we just put it on for a short amount of time, but um, I don't just want to leave one tray in there because why not fill it up? 
So, some marshmallow peanuts. And these are just your regular marshmallow peanuts. Um, kind of that, those hard marshmallows. Sorry, not hard, just more dense than regular marshmallows. But when we're done, they come out just like Lucky Charm marshmallows. Whew. So, and I know these don't puff up, so I don't need to worry about making sure that they're, they're not touching or anything. And then these I haven't tried yet through the freeze dryer. They're marshmallow ice cream cones. And some with some chocolate, uh, chocolate sprinkles. Hopefully the chocolate sprinkles don't make too much of a mess, but I've got a Teflon sheet here just in case. Um, I like marshmallow, so I usually find these okay, except for the cone is usually very stale and kind of crunchy soft. So hopefully, hopefully something happens here. Oh, I, I have an empty cone. We can't have that. So I'm going to go find something to fill in it. How about a gummy frog? Put some gummy frogs in. They should uh, puff up. See how that does. And I've got one more tray. Sure, I'll just load it in some more frogs. Now these do puff up, so we do want to kind of spread them out a little bit so that they don't become a giant just mass of crunchy, puffy gummy. But they don't go too, too much. And I did turn down the tray temperature of the freeze dryer because I had the, um, the yogurt. So with yogurt and a lot of dairy, you want to turn the tray temperature down. But generally for candy and gummies, you want to bump it up higher. So we'll see how this goes. We might just need to leave it in there for a few more hours. But there we go. All right, so that's gonna go in. We'll check on it in four hours. I'm just going to move this to the back. Clean some of this up. And I'm gonna go and get ready and um, package up the food that I just took out. So I will see you in about four hours. See you later. Okay, I'm back. It's been actually more like three hours than two. Um, stop this. When I came down earlier to check, um, I could see that at least the gummies hadn't quite puffed up yet. So I put it on for a bit longer 
but I can see that they've done something now. So let's take them out. were those frog gummies that we put in just to to fill some trays so before and after but we'll let them they're still warm so we will I'll just leave them to the side let them cool off a bit because like anything sugar while it's still warm will always be a little soft and here are our um, ice cream cones, marshmallow ice cream cones, and our oh, our one cone with the uh, gummies that definitely puffed up, and it, all the cones seem to have split. So again, we'll let them cool a bit off to the side, and hopefully. Um, like I said, the marshmallow in those has, is always okay, but the, the cone is always um, kind of stale. So hopefully uh, it's crisp, crisp it up and uh, makes that a little bit better. And our peanuts here, they're, they're almost foolproof. So I'm just going to dump them in here for now. And now for the tray we've been waiting for. Ooh. Okay, so most of it is kind of like I, I predicted. So we've got our chocolate bits, um, our chocolate covered wafer. It doesn't look like the middle did anything. Ooh, this one here that puffed, that's going to be yummy. Again, I'm just going to let it kind of cool off a bit. Let the chocolate reharden. Another wafer, chocolate melted, but uh, really nothing from the inside. Peanuts. Wasabi peanuts, nothing, no change there. Yep. No change in the Oreo type or the wafer or the cookie straw or the French fry and crouton thing or the corn puffs. Mm. Still tastes good though. Our gummy. Let me just open one of the old, the fresh ones again. So our gummy has exploded and just looks like the whatever's on the inside leaked out. But the the actual gummy, this type of gummy, didn't do anything. Just the inside popped up. Mm. and a nice crunch. So that's kind of cool. Our fizzy, fizzy candy. Let me open up one of the uh, non, so we've got before and after. Looks like it's puffed up a bit. No real change, just probably hmm, some of the outside candy has hmm, has had melted from the heat. That's about it. Hmm. Let's see. 
because this one cooled down a bit. Okay, so this one's cooled down a bit. Like I said, this was the bonjour cookie with caramel and mousse dipped in chocolate. So, yep, the chocolate melted and doesn't do anything. It just, like in this one, just kind of pools until it rehardens. And I think that cookie's probably gotten hard. Let's give it a bite. Mmm. Yep. So what once was a soft cookie is now a nice crispy cookie. Oh. I know. Got ginger whining here. Sorry, Ginger, you can't have any chocolate. Mm. Mm. And one thing I forgot to mention. So in our snack crate, wrapped around all the candy. So once you're done all your candy, fold it out. You've got some really cool facts, fun facts about Ukraine. Oh. We can uh, scan, there's a QR code, so you can scan some music. Um, let's see, Ukraine is home to seven sites protected by the UNESCO World Heritage List, including St. Sophia's Cathedral, uh, Kiev, Ukraine is the capital, has the world's deepest metro station. So the deepest uh, subway that goes 105.5 meters or almost 350 feet down. In 1986, Ukraine, ex Ukraine experienced a devastating event at Chernobyl where the... Um, power plant, plant uh, had an explosion. Yeah. Ukraine wear their wedding bands on the ring finger of their right hand, whereas most of the world wear it on their left. I did not know that. So yeah, this is a, a cute, interesting little snack box. Uh, I think it was about 25 or 30 bucks. I don't know. I'll put a link somewhere in the description. And uh, yeah. so if you haven't seen before gummies, it, it really depends on the type of gummy. Gummies are really hit and miss. So this was a frog before. So you can see the underside hasn't done anything. However, the gummy type of gummy that the top is really puffed up. So you've got a gummy, soft, chewy gummy, stretchy and chewy. And then after going through the freeze dryer, it's puffed up nice and light and airy and crispy. Mm. As soon as it, you touch it, you put any pressure on it, it just wants to flake apart. But then as soon as the moisture in your mouth hits it, it turns to gummy again, so it, it sticks on your teeth. And actually the bottom goes hard and crunchy. So they're really quite interesting. Not what people usually expect because it's just kind of different. So, this is, oh, I was going to try, let's try a chocolate one. So, as we, we've seen from over here, chocolate just melts, makes a mess. It's, this one's starting to reharden. that one had a lot of chocolate. Chocolate sprinkles do nothing. But let's see how this cone is. 
the cone is actually better after. It's not a great cone, really, you know, but it's not that soft, half stale. So I'm going to finish packaging up this stuff and I will see you next time. Because why not? <laughs>